This is the Uffington White Horse, and it is somewhere around 3,000 years old. It was carved into this hill in Oxfordshire before the British Isles had written history, so we have no idea who made it or why. And until humanity invented aircraft millennia later, no one could even really see it properly. The view from the ground here isn't great. We're also not allowed to fly a drone over it, so you're going to have to make do with a satellite photo to see the whole thing. This is a 3,000-year-old piece of art, and I am now going to smash part of it with this hammer. We're smashing a chalk into the figure of the horse today to preserve its appearance and keep its longevity as people have done for the last 3,000 years, otherwise it wouldn't be here. We're taking new chalk from a quarry just behind me, about 50 metres away, 10 tonnes in all, and yes, that's been applied to the horse by the use of a club hammer. Before that though, the horse is weeded or scoured for the old traditional term, so we can get onto the bare surface. We re-chalk and scour the horse every year now. They're all volunteers. Previous years have been years of neglect, maybe 20, uh, 25 years, or traditionally back in Victorian times every seven years. But we're proud of the horse here, and we want to keep it looking its best as long as we can. The Oxford University back in the 1990s came out with a, a, a newly developed sensor back then which was able to determine the last time sunlight touched the bottom of the trenches on which the horse is founded and that put it to what we know today 3,000 years ago. This is by far the oldest chalk figure in the country. Nothing else comes anywhere near it. We don't know for sure about how the horse was put in or, or for what reason. We imagine that there might have been a wooden tower constructed from which the seer would be able to direct left, right, missed a bit that kind of thing. Part of the mystery or the enigma of the White Horse Hill is what makes it so appealing to people can come. You can use your own imagination. What would happen if we didn't chalk the horse? I think it would grow over within 20 or 30 years. That's what we say to the people that have been kind enough to come along today and help us is that they're actually contributing to living history here. Without that, without that human intervention, it would grass over 25, 30 years and be lost forever. This is art that's been preserved by generation after generation after generation after generation, repair and upkeep that's been going on for millennia. Through the Roman Empire, the medieval period, a lot of invasions, the English Civil War, the formation of the United Kingdom, all the way up to the information age. Every so often, groups of people have come together on this hill to preserve this. It is a very real connection with the folks who came before us. Smash it. Smashed it, but nothing. <laughs>